So how did this lawsuit come about? Okay, so that's a great question. So in 2010, Pat Arandi and San Roco Therapeutics delivered to the world the first commercial batch. That's your company? Yes. Okay. San Roco Therapeutics, therapeutics de de delivered the world's first batch of gene therapy for sickle cell disease and thalassemia known to man. Because up until then, it took a million dollars per patient to make, and you could only make it one batch at a time. For $1.3 million. It took a million dollars per patient to make what? The vector. The vector. Remember we were okay, talking the about gene the vector. H, yes, yep. gene therapy vector. So we were able to, for $1.3 million to make enough for 10 people. So we brought it down from a million to one, you know, to 130,000 a person, which was okay. incredible. Okay. And then a company called Bluebird Bio wanted to buy us. And uh, they were basically owned by Third Rock Ventures, which, you know, is one of these funds that had billions and billions of dollars. And so, sorry to, to interrupt your story, but I'm, I'm curious, how did you do that? How did you go about finding a way to make it so much more economical to do that? Okay, so the real hero in all of this this is a French researcher named Michel Settelin and his wife, wife Isabelle Riviere. They basically, between the two of them, invented the beta globin gene and then were able to package it to be able to get it into a human cell. They started with mice. Those are the heroes. How did you find them? Uh, I read about it in 2000 in Nature magazine. Wow. So I met them in 2000. Met their kids <clears throat> in time. They mail my kids, all of that. And I began funding them. And then in 2005, I bought their product. I licensed it to go forward to commercialize it. Nobody cared about it. I tried to get other drug companies to do it, but nobody wanted it. Did you try it, test it on your son? No, 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 no. no. Um, we, up until now, we've only done it on three people. Bluebird oh, really? has done it on up to 46 people or 50 people even. So in 2010, I'm with my president, Sam Salmon. We drive to go see Bluebird Bio's new CEO, Nick Leshley, and we go see Neil Exter, and we go see these, you know, multi-gazillionaires that own Third Rock Ventures, and they want to do a deal with us. So in 2005, nobody believed in gene therapy. I tried to talk to Shire. I talked to Elon. I talked to Merck. I talked Elon? E-L-A-N. It's an uh, oh. Irish company. <laughs> I said Elon. Yeah, no, Elon. So I talked to all these companies about doing gene therapy, and they thought I was nuts. You know, gene therapy is never going to work, you know. And so in 2010, all of a sudden, Third Rock Ventures buys Bluebird Bayou, which was a French company, by the way. And the difference between my French researcher and theirs was that my French researcher was first. So we have the wild-type beta globin gene in our product. And instead, they have a mutant gene in their product, Okay. Well, they paid $35 million for the bum dope for the shit product. What do you mean mutant gene? So you change the gene. So I have the beta globin gene that you have in your body is what we put into our patient's body. Okay. But to get around the patent, basically, the other researcher had to change it. And you could change it just, right. you know, small, making the plasmid a little smaller, introducing another plasmid, changing the uh, chronological order or whatever. Okay. So it's still the beta globin gene, but it's a mutant gene. Just modified a little bit. Modified. Perfect. So they had bought this modified gene, and I'm mm -hmm. like, what the fuck's wrong with these guys? They paid $35 million for this fucking, this, this modified gene. I mean, like, are they nuts, you know? But they're all Harvard, Yale, all this bullshit, you know, banksters. So I go there, and, you know, I get there, and they blow smoke up my ass. You know, how do you always do? Oh, Pat, you're the best fodder in the world, and all well, you did for your kid and all of this, you know. But, by the way, we are banksters, and we got more money than God, and so you should do a deal with us. And I said, okay, I'll do a de deal with you, you know, uh, Fester, uh, but you bought bum dope. You bought shit. So, what you got to do with Pacharandi, because I don't give a shit about the money necessarily, but I do have shareholders who have invested money, so we got to take care of them. But the most important thing you got to do is promise that you use my medicine, because I'm using the real beta globin gene, not a mutant gene. So, they listen to me, and they say, okay, 
And then I said, and by the way, you've spent $35 million for that shit. Mine's got to be worth three fifty. And I'm not telling you I want three fifty, But, you know, we got the real thing. I got shareholders. We got to take care of them, you know, because it's the right thing to do. I'm an American. I'm a capitalist. I got the right thing. You didn't. We got to do things the right way. We got to be honorable men and women. They went behind my back, and they sabotaged the product. We've got all the emails. They were saying crazy sh shit at board members. They were at board meetings. Danny, they were saying, we got to shoot Gerondi down. What do you mean they sabotaged your product? Right. So first they admit that my product is three to time, five times better than theirs. Okay. We've got, we've got to read it in the book. Okay. Don't listen to me. <clears throat> read it in the book. It all came out in discovery. Gerondi's product is three to five times better than ours. It'll add $200 million to our company if we can sabotage it and shelve it and get it. They go behind my back. They go to the people where I license the product from. And I have a non-disparagement, so I have to be careful, careful about this. Not against Bluebird, who, by the way, it cost a million dollars when I wouldn't sign the, the non-disparagement blue, uh, against Bluebird. <laughs> anyway, so they go behind my back. You mean you, you, they tried to pay you a million dollars to sign a non-disparagement and you didn't take it? Yeah, the other side. So there was two people that had to settle up with me at the end. And when I said, I won't talk bad about this not-for-profit any longer because they're a great institution. Yeah. And I don't like the executives, and maybe they did a lot of bad things that they should have had should not have but i'm not going to talk about it because they are a good institution but bluebird bio as soon as i walk out of the room i'm going to tell the world what they did right well that great institution basically had to give a million dollars to bluebird bio <laughs> because i wouldn't sign the non-disparagement oh wow true story wow so basically they go behind my shoulder okay and they went right to the company you were licensing it from right and they basically say you know Gerondi's nuts you know he makes videos he's a rock star in italy i mean have you ever listened to his stuff? I think he's crazy, you know, and uh, he, oh, he's off the reservation. And when analysts, analysts, stock analysts were calling the CEO and say, hey, Nick, what's going on with that uh, San Rocco Therapeutics? Is your product better than theirs? Yeah, San Rocco Therapeutics. We got them all locked up. Don't worry about it. So that's called insider trading. In the meanwhile, Nick Leshley makes over $100 million selling his stock which goes up to $230 in 2018. Selling it, they raised $1.1 billion alone at 185 and 165 in 2018. Selling it to unsuspecting investors. All the while, they knew they had bum dope. That's insider trading. Mm. Nick Leshley makes over $100 million. I told you, he was the, the best CEO in 2014 in bioscience, and he was the worst in 2020. They go behind my back. They make a deal. <clears throat> I don't know what they're doing, but I make a deal with the company I license it from with a not-for-profit, and I say, okay, guys, you're not happy with me for whatever reason. I get it. Not a problem. I'll give you back the project, but run like hell with it. And I figured because they had 4% and 6% royalties, I figured if I give them 50% royalties, basically, they're going to go run like hell with it, which is basically what I did. Mm -hmm. I kept 50% of the product project for my investors and they got 50 percent but they ran the project from then on in 2015 i went to them and i said bluebird bio has treated 30 patients we've treated three what the hell is going on i got an attorney i found out that the ceo of memorial sloan kettering had other issues and through Newspaper articles, New York Times, by the way, 2012, found out that the same guys that bought my competitor had funded Memorial Sloan Kettering CEO, his publicly traded company, and he was sued for a billion dollars in 2012 because of that. Of course, it all ends up, you know, settling out of court. Hold on a second. So <clears throat> basically in 2000. You know, 15, I'm looking back and all of that, and I find out that the CEO of Memorial Sloan Kettering got like, you know, $110 million from the owners of my competitor. So now I'm getting a little bit nervous. From the owners of who? 
I told you that there was two French companies, basically, or two French researchers who invented one, the beta globin gene, and the other, the mutant beta globin right, gene. Right, right. The mutant beta globin gene gets bought by Bluebird Bios. Okay. Bluebird Bio was owned by Third Rock Ventures. Third Rock Ventures had given, had funded the CEO of Memorial Sloan Kettering's company, Ajo's Pharma, for $110 million between 2007 and 2011. Oh, okay. It's all in the book. Right. And again, I'm not disparaging Memorial Sloan Kettering. Great. I love them. They do a lot of great, great things for people and all of that. The executives, you know, whatever. They come and they go. Mm. Um, anyway, to make a long story short, I go to, you know, t to my ex-partner and I say, hey, man, you got to give my product back because, you know, you're, you're fumbling the ball here. And they say, no, no, we're not going to give it back to you. So I said, okay, I'll sue you for breach of contract. So I sue him for breach of contract. And we begun, begin discovery. By 2017, Christmas time, it was December 28th, I get to read the second amended complaint. 